ball. It's empty. Don't waste it. This one's filthy. Yeah. Know, you could have cleaned it. I know, it's very selfish of us. I, know. <laughs> I think the uh, first time I get even close to bed, I'm going to fall into it. <laughs> but it was an amazing journey, it was. And to find out how forward thinking, you know, particularly Northern Europe is about electric vehicles, it was a real revelation. Did you, I mean, were you into it in any way before you even started on this Absolutely quest? Absolutely not, no. I've spent 20 years fixing up old Mark Coupes and, you know, tinkering with stinky old combustion engines. And I thought this is just pure novelty. But in fact, particularly when it's tied in with renewable energy, uh, it's just a, a fantastic solution to, uh, to a lot of problems. And it's just, it's very dear at this stage for people who are used to buying uh, you know, combustion engine cars at particular prices. Because it's that early adopter thing, a bit like mobile phones and widescreen TVs. It'll take a few years before it becomes manageable. But I think it's definitely, it was a real glimpse into the future. Yeah. Uh, you know, and you can't really be cynical about it anymore. Yeah, absolutely. I got a G-Wiz. Have you? 7,000 pounds. Five years on the battery. Yeah. Worked out that it saved 60 grand in five years. That's fantastic. Driving it into Soho every day where I work. Yeah, well, that's, that's brilliant. Um, I mean, we couldn't have done that, you know, uh, going around Europe in a car like that, but... No, it hurts um, after about 15 minutes, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. No, but uh, it was just, you know, that's, that's going to, most people, that journey's going, it's going to be absolutely fine for that, do you know what I mean? For short journeys, it's, it's great. Yeah. You know, but I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, tinkering with an old rusty Merc when I get back. <laughs> Although I, and I'm now, I, I am definitely a convert to, uh, you know, electric vehicles. And I think if the renewable energy uh, comes with it, which it will over the next few years increasingly, yeah. then it'll be kind of an unarguable proposition, really. Yeah. Is there anything that particularly excited you on the whole on the whole trip when you look back, thinking about? Is there any one EV that or, or technology that stood out, or was it that? Thing? I think it was seeing the hydrogen car at Volkswagen, yeah. the Volkswagen yeah. one, and, and that's very far away before that becomes kind of mainstream. You know, 20, 30 years, maybe even more. Just, but it was brilliant to see how they their the model, the engine, hydrogen engine they created five years ago was already kind of you know cut down to a third of the size in five years and you just knew that was going to keep going and that was going to develop so that's a really exciting prospect to a real kind of glimpse into the future the stuff of science fiction yeah. now you know brilliant you know. i'll let you go home all right <laughs> it's been a long time yeah but thanks yeah. for that